How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now. I've been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close friends say, if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. Welcome back to another Hancock's VMware half hour. Well, this isn't really going to be 30 minutes. Um, so you join me again uh, in June 2024. Um, a lot's happened since I've been away, uh, away from doing the, the latest releases of videos for Experts Exchange. Uh, finally, Broadcom has merged, taken over uh, VMware. I'm sure you are aware. And um, I'm sure, like us, um, you are finding it a challenge at present uh, with renewal of licensing, um, different support site, different web pages, etc. Um, for me, being involved with VMware um, for over, I don't know, it feels like forever, since about 1998, how many years is that? 26, 27, 28, I don't know. Um, but for me, it's a, it's a big change. It's a big challenge. Um, so we just have to take that on board and, and move forward with it. Um, but anyway, so a couple of plugs for the VMware vExpert program by Broadcom this evening. Um, the second half, oh, the vExpert 2024 second applications are now due. Um, so if you go to vExpert.vmware.com, uh, you can apply for vExpert. Uh, you can also join our Discord channel and you can chat to the expert and the expert pros and we can actually basically help you to fill out your application uh, to become uh, a V-Expert. So apply now. And there was actually a reason why I'm plugging it because I'm actually going to go to the VMware V-Expert portal to pick my licenses. And this is what this video is about today. Um, I've come back to the Experts Exchange Lab after a long break of six months and I've found that my ESXi licenses have expired because the licenses that are loaned to us from the VExpert program are not for resale and they expire after 12 months. Similar to the licenses that you can obtain through VMUG Advantage Plus, those licenses will expire after 12 months as well. Uh, so just a very quick um, video showing you how we can delete the existing licenses, add a new license and get our lab back up and running. Because without a license, we can't power on any of the existing virtual machines. And I'm going to do a short video on applying a license to VMware vCenter Server 8, because we're also fond as well that that license will have expired as well. So I'm just going to go back and... Uh, oh, that has actually basically timed me out of ESXi002. So if you remember, these are two HPE um, microservers, ProLight microservers, uh, running uh, ESXi 8.0 update 2 um, and VMware vCenter Server 8. So quickly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and fetch my license. I'll, I'll show you now. So if we select Manage and we select Licensing, and I don't have any problem at all in actually basically disclosing this license key that's already there because it expired on Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. So it's of no use to anybody whatsoever. So what I'm going to do, really, I'm going to remove the license from this particular server. So I'm going to say remove so it doesn't have a license. And then on this server here, I first I do exactly the same thing. I go to manage, I go to licensing. I'm going to assign a, a new license to, to, to that server as well. So... I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to go to my vExpert application panel and I'm going to set licenses, but I'm going to pause this so you don't see all the licenses that I have available. That wouldn't be very good. Back. 
And that refresh is actually basically caused by the... Um, if you watch these videos before, you'll know that when I pause and unpause, some strange reason it's just a weird refresh. Okay, so I'm now going to just click Assign License. I'm going to click in the box, Check License, and Assign License, and we will see that I'm just going to big X out there, there, and I'm just going to refresh. So now we've actually basically got two licenses, which will allow me quite happily now to power on uh, our VMware vCenter Server 8, and that's actually now powering up quite happily. Uh, before, if your license has expired, uh, then your ESX server really is uh, dead as a donut, uh, or dead as a dodo, uh, you will not be able to power up any virtual machines. So, there we go, clicky there, five minutes, uh, how to add ESXi licenses, uh, in this particular case, from the VMware vExpert portal, but that could be from uh, VMUG uh, Advantage Plus, or VMUG Plus Advantage, uh, or they could be official keys that, that you've had that have expired. Uh, so, in summary, you can remove the license and add the key, um, or you can just assign the license. So that's it for this video. Uh, come back and watch the other videos. Come back and watch the video whereby I'm going to actually going to assign a new license key to VMware vCenter server. And then we're actually basically going to start getting into what we're going to do this year. And my apologies for not starting these before. Um, I've just been a little bit busy with the bees. Anyway, so all the best and thanks very much for watching. Goodbye now.